The first step to making your dodecagon clock is going to MakerCam.com. It's in browser and it's free. Once you're there, open up your SVG by hitting File, Open SVG, and open the file that you downloaded from the site. This will work for either the 10-inch or the 5-inch clock. You can zoom out and grab your piece in the lower left-hand corner and then drag it to the upper right-hand corner of your origin point. You can use this hand tool to move around, zoom in with the plus sign, and then click back to the cursor to start to be able to highlight your lines. So the first, first thing we're going to want to do is to um, pick the cutting order. So I want to start cutting with um, the hole. This is going to be a pocket to uh, hold it in place with the nail. So go to cam, pocket operation. Name it something you're going to remember. The tool diameter I'm going to use is 0.125. The target depth is how deep I, I want the hole to be, so I think negative 0.4 will be great for that. Safety height, uh, 0.125. Step over, 0 0.03125. Feed rate of uh, 30 and plunge rate of 10. Those are going to pretty much stay the same except for your target depth. So the next is the pocket that the clock mechanism actually fits into. It's another pocket operation. Again, name it something you remember. And then everything will remain the same. So it's the same tool diameter, 0.125. Um, the target depth is the only thing that's going to change. And for this, I'm going to do negative uh, 0.6. And the safety height, again, is, one, is 0.125. Step down is the same. Feed rate is the same and plunge rate is the same. Next is the hole where the hands for the clock come out to the front of the clock. And that's again going to be a uh, pocket operation. You could do it as a profile, but I think a pocket will kind of have it um, come out a little cleaner. So same tool diameter. The target depth, we want to go all the way through the material this time. So there are width of this material is 0.76, so negative 0.76 is our target depth. And then again, everything else remains the same. And these are standard um, settings for cutting bamboo on a standard Shibogo with a dual drive upgrade kit. So next we're going to do the profile cut. So highlight the outside and hit profile operation. Name it something that you will remember. The tool diameter is the same. The target depth again is the is the all the way through the material, so negative 0.76. We're gonna follow the outside of this red line. Um, so that's your inside. If you wanted it on the inside, you can hit inside. We're gonna stick keep it on the outside for this. So safety height's the same, step down's the same, feed rate and plunge rate again are the same. Okay, so now we're gonna go to cam and calculate all. This is going to show you um, your toolpath where the bit is actually going to travel. So that looks good, so now the only thing we need to do is uh, add tabs. So highlight your profile and add tabs to selected. So once you've added your tabs, I'm going to add about three. You can grab onto them, move them around, put them in a place that uh, seems to make sense to you. Once you've kind of set that up, we can export the G-code, which is CAM export G-code. So here, um, a good practice is to hit profiles last. Um, and if you needed to uh, move any of these around, because right now they're in their cutting order, so the one at the top is going to cut first. That's why you want your profile to cut last. Highlight them all and export G-code. Name, name your part. Um, save it somewhere, and then the next step is to open it up in a G-code sender and send it uh, to your Shapeoko.